Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. Nathan is on his phone in the locker room when Axiom and then the Rascals interrupt. This absolutely stupid segment. This was one of the dumbest. This I'm trying to think if this was dumber than like that uh, Will Ospreay thing. So they are backstage, and up come the Rascals, all three of them. Trey Miguel says, MSK, did you ever lose those tag team titles? Wesley says, no, no in fact, we did not. Never lost them in the ring. Nathan Frazier looks at me and goes, man, that would have been an insane match. And Trey says, would have been. Still do that match. Wes said, yeah, could do that match tonight. So Frazier and Axiom look at each other. Frazier goes, sure. I thought, holy shit, tag title match tonight. MSK versus Axiom and Nathan Frazier. So then... Frazier says, well, there's two of us and three of you. Which two are going to face us tonight? And fucking Wentz, one half of MSK, says, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but we're the rascals. It's going to be all three of us. <laughs> I was like, hold on a minute, you fucking moron. Hold on a second. And I, I actually rewounded. I thought, you know what? Maybe I fucked something up. This can't actually be happening. But I rewound it, and in fact, Trey said, MSK, that's the team. Did you guys ever lose those tag team titles? They said, no. Frazier said, fuck what a match that would be. They said, hey, we can still do it tonight. And Frazier said, okay. That sounds to me like they offered them a tag team title match. Well, it wasn't even Trey. It was one half of MSK. This idiot went. Well, he says it's going to be a six man. So, in fact, Frazier goes, all right, we'll get ourselves a partner. So this moron talked his way out of a tag team title shot. Which set up a six man. To set up a tag team title shot because they won. Hmm. What in the fuck? Vinny, what in the fuck was this? Well. Why is everything in this business so complicated? This was so stupid. In canon, there's a very good chance that the Rascals were high. Okay. So, they made a poor decision because their judgment was impaired. God. <laughs> That's the best I can offer you. Now, yes. there was a good part afterwards. They went from something so absolutely, preposterously stupid to something that I really liked, which was Frazier saying, let's go get a partner. And Axiom says, okay, but uh, before we do that, I got to tell you, I'm doing the next speed tournament. And Frazier goes, What? I did the last speed tournament, and all you did was yell at me and tell me that we got to concentrate on the tag titles. We got to concentrate on the tag titles. We can't be thinking about something else. We got to concentrate on the tag titles. We're going to lose the tag titles. Now you're in the speed tournament? And Axiom says, you told me it would be fine, and it was. We retained the titles. Yeah. <laughs> you were right, he said. Frazier's like, damn it! So they start arguing because now Axiom is doing the speed tournament. Yes. I liked this because it played into a storyline. And it's not like you actually have to watch WWE speed to get it. It doesn't matter if you watch the tournament. Or if you do, it's like a bonus. But, you know, everything that's going on with these two guys, they're distracted by something else. And they're both irritated at the other for being distracted. This was great. So we had we had the dumbest segment of the year, followed by one of the better segments of the year. Oh, it was actually the same show. segment? Yeah, in the same <laughs> segment. That was amazing. So then. Oh, yes. There are three women mm -hmm. watching another woman's match on mm -hmm. the iPad. Yes. No graphics. There was not a single graphic throughout this entire segment. No. So they watch. You know, we're seeing a camera shot of an iPad. It's not like we have a crystal clear view. 
There's some wrestling going on. That's what I can tell you. I mean, you zoom out to watch the three women watching this, and one of them says, something looks incredible. I said, what? <laughs> and I rewound this like three times. The best I can get is that she said, Sophie looks incredible. Now, I'm assuming... Who the fuck is Sophie? I'm assuming, and I... Big, giant, red glowing letters assuming that they were watching Stephanie Vacour. And yes. she was supposed Steffi. to say... Steffi. Maybe it was Steffi. 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 But she did a horrible job of enunciating and delivering the line, so I was baffled. Now, there's three women there. Eventually, I figured out it's Lola Weiss, Karen Petrovich, and Sol Ruka. Because they are on TV. Okay, every so you, week. so I, I figured out Carmen, okay. and I figured out Lola. Yes, I could not for the life of me figure out this third woman. Soul straightened her hair. That's it. Yes, I figured it out during the tag just match. to confuse me. Yeah, because that was like the one thing that made her stick out. Yeah, she's a surfer and she has surfer girl beach hair, all frizzy and all wild and all over the place. Well, apparently, and this was, I guess, her decision, she decided to just straighten it. And now she looks like every other athletic blonde they have on the roster. I had no idea who this was. Bad decision. She needs to go back to her gimmick hair. Yeah. So they want to know if Sophie or Steffi or whatever will be considered a rookie like me. No. No. She won't. <laughs> they bring up the women's tag titles. Have Isla and Elba even defended them? And again, no last names even, just Isla and Elba. Last legend to Jakara Jackson interrupt. Okay, these I'll, I'll be honest. These two women do not need graphics. They don't need graphics. I know who they are every single time. But you could still put them up. There's no reason not to. For new people, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But they're very memorable. So they're all bickering about who pinned who. And there is a challenge out here. When Jakara says, we will wrestle you and you, and she pointed, but I honestly was not sure who she was pointing at. Why is it so fucking hard <laughs> to use names? I don't know. I was so angry. Yes. I was so angry by this. I was as angry here as you were about the rascals talking themselves out of a title match. Yes. Lexus King versus Eddie Thorpe. Eddie beats his ass, looks good doing it. Lexus gets like one hope spot, including the world's worst shining wizard. But Eddie turns the coronation into an implant DDT and wins. It was short, but it was good. And then Lexus jumps in from behind, so this feud must continue. And he smashes Eddie's DJ hand with his pimp cane, so he won't Don't be able to... even tell me he's hurt again. He won't be able to spin anymore. I hope that's what's going on. I because certainly hope if it's he just work. came back from an injury yes. to get injured again, I don't know, man. I don't know. Kelly interviews Trick, who again says, no one will stop me from getting my title back. And Pete Dunn is in the background, as always, and just says, you think so? Trick says, what do you mean? And Pete says, figure it out. And I had no idea what he meant. Well, I, I guess he did figure it out later. Yeah. yeah. Pete's going to be working NXT mm -hmm. and Raw and Speed. Wow. He's got a lot on his plate. Well, the Speed matches are short. That's true. Yeah. They're hard, though. They're hard. They're hard. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.